Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I, I would certainly appreciate a copy of that bill, and I'll also provide you with a copy of the grand jury report about the Broward School Board that most recently came out that asked to dissolve the entire school board. But with that being said, uh, with those with those mix and match districts or mi mix and match school boards, is there a requirement at all of those or even some of those school districts that the at-large members be the sole people who can run for chair or vice chair? Representative Diaz, you're, I'm uh, sorry, Representative Logan, you're recognized. Yes. Representative Bullard for a follow-up. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I'm just uh, clarifying. Let's take the second largest district in the in the state. Is the Broward County School Board, is it a requirement that the at-large members only serve as chair and vice chair? Representative Logan, you're recognized. Not Broward County. Representative Bullard for a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I, I wish I, this had been clarified earlier, but I'll go county by county. What about Hillsborough, Representative Logan? Representative Logan, you're recognized. So that we don't go county by county because we don't have um, a lot of people here want to go home at a decent hour today, and there's 67 counties. Um, Orange County did this a few years ago. It's working quite well. So the move to go to this. The momentum to go to a countywide chair and vice chair is there. That is the new governance structure. That is the way we should be going, and that is the way this bill sends us. Representative Bullard for a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Logan, can you clarify for me um, how we moved from at-large districts to single-member districts in Dade County? Was there something that prompted the need to move from at-large to single-member districts? Representative Logan, you're recognized. In the early 90s, the Miami-Dade School Board overstepped its authority and entered into a court agreement with a court order. They entered into it, and they overstepped their authority by doing that. Representative Bullard, for a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So are you saying that the school board, and this does pertain to the bill, is the school board of Miami-Dade, since they're the only eligible county, are they covered by a consent decree that requires that they have some level of diversity on the school board? Is that my understanding? Representative Logan, you're recognized. Miami-Dade County, Representative Bullard, is not under Section 5 of the Voters' Rights Act. Miami-Dade County is not, once again, under Section 5. Representative Bullard, for a question. Thank you. Um, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, since this is going to cause uh, for the countywide election of school board members in Miami-Dade County, um, and even though currently the school boards are single member districts, can you give me some clarification on the number of non-Hispanic minority countywide elected officials that the, the only county in this bill uh, pertains to has right now? Representative Logan, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Representative Bullard, I, I know that there's a lot of fear and a lot of angst in your community about the representation on the school board and the representation at large, but we really need to get past that. We need to get past thinking that we are entitled to a seat and get to a point where we are going to be electing the best person for the job, past ethnicities, past race, past everything. There was a time when that Re was needed. Representative Logan, uh, and members that are asking questions, we're in question, not debate. Let's try to keep our questions succinct and focused, uh, and uh, as well as our answers to those questions succinct and focused, and the time for debate will come. And members, we're giving you a little leeway with the questions, but as soon as you go into debate, I'm going to move to the next questioner because there's a whole bunch of y'all that want to ask questions, and I want to give them the courtesy of the opportunity to ask those questions. Representative Bullard, you're recognized for a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As, as we know, uh, we, we neighbor each other in terms of districts, so I'd like to believe that my community is your community, uh, Representative Logan. With that being said, uh, 
going to your answer, or what you were answering, I do agree. We want the best and the brightest. The question I previously asked sort of alluded to are we electing the best and the brightest? Is it your conclusion then, is it your conclusion then that under your previous answer that the best and the brightest potential elected officials cannot be from other minority groups? Is that your conclusion? Because that's where your answer was going. And Representative I want to clarify, Logan, you're recognized. That's not it. Representative Bullard, I have here the results of the 2010 census. Miami-Dade County is 81% minority. Representative Bullard, for a question on the bill. On the bill, Mr. Speaker, I'm trying to I'm trying to go there. 